Hey y'all, hey, if you are new here, my name is Denise. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. We are going to be doing a refresh to my guest bathroom, aka Lucas's bathroom, because next month is his birthday and I'm sure we'll have some guests. And I just want to do a little bit of updating. If you're interested, keep on watching. So before we can start the cleaning process of the bathroom, I first wanted to show you guys this cute little shelf that I found at the local Goodwill for the sweet price of $3.99. It looked a little unappealing when I first laid eyes on it, but I just knew that if I bought it home, showed it a little bit of love, I can turn it into something. As you can see, it is quite, um, it's unique, but it is also very dirty. It's compacted with dust. I just don't know what I'm going to do. But I did have the idea to use a paintbrush to remove all of the dust and debris as much as I can before I use the Mrs. Myers All Purpose Cleaner and the scent Apple Cider. I knew that spray painting this piece would be the best option for me, so I chose this gray color by Rust Oleum. I do apply two coats of paint, but now let's get to cleaning. So to start the cleaning process, I'm actually removing the current shower curtain and I'm going to be placing it in our spare bedroom. And I'm just gonna remove all of the hair care products that Lucas has and I'm just gonna put them over on the sink vanity and also remove what's in the bottom of the tub. Sorry about that guys. And I'm using the Sprayway All Purpose Cleaner to clean out the shower. And I found this at the Dollar General and the scent of it is actually pretty pleasing it's it does not have a strong uh chemical smell and i'm also going to follow up with my sponge process and then i'm just going to rinse away all of the residue So this is actually a microfiber cloth that you use for your car, but I like to use it in my shower because it dries a whole lot quicker. So I found this shower curtain seven months ago from Target and I am using some new shower curtain rings also purchased from Target. So this is how the shower curtain looks fully closed, but I prefer a little opening. To clean the toilet in the sink, I am going to be using that Mrs. Meyer scent snowdrop and um, it smells really good. If you have asthma, you may want to be easy with the usage because it um, is a little bit strong, but I, I did enjoy it. So if you see it in Target, give it a quick sniff before you purchase. If you're new here you probably don't know this but I do enjoy using a disinfectant wipe to wipe around the base of my toilet to remove any bacteria. Now moving on to the sink area I'm just going to remove everything and put it underneath the cabinet and I'm just going to use my Sprayway glass cleaner to clean my mirror, my Mrs. Meyer spray to clean the sink and just a regular old wood polish to clean the surface of the cabinet.
may not be new to anyone, but just in case, I always like to keep a extra can liner in the bottom of my trash can and I always spray it with Lysol just to keep down the germs and bacteria. And yeah, that's my tip for you today. You're welcome. And the last thing that I have to do in this cleaning part of the video is sweep and then I'm going to go over the floor with my Swiffer and then we can start decorating. So this bathroom has never had towels before so I'm really excited about it. I did purchase these from Target and they're not just for show, you can actually use these towels. So moving on to the sink area, I am using a cake plate that I purchased from, you guessed it, Target. That lamp I actually found for $12 at the Dollar General. And the candle that you will see later on is from Target as well as this little plant also that will be placed on the cake plate. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be really cute. I'm sorry if I gave anything away. I truly love the scent of this soap, but Luke said that I could not put it in our master bathroom, so now I finally found a place to use it, and I purchased the soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder from TJ Maxx, and they were both $6.99. And here is the new home for the shelf that I was painting earlier. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Isn't it cute? Oh, it doesn't have any knickknacks yet, but I just love it. The color is gorgeous. And I am going to keep my boat. I'm just gonna keep it on the top shelf. Sorry, I'm moving like molasses. I don't know why I thought it was fragile, but yeah. It looks good there and I finally went to the store and I purchased all of my knickknacks from the Dollar Tree except for the hand towels and the personal wipes. Those were purchased from Walmart. And here is the final overview over everything that was changed about this bathroom. I do hope you guys enjoy this video just enough to give it a like and consider subscribing because I have more great content coming up in the future. So I would love it if you join my little family and become my new boo thing. Um, please feel free to leave me a comment. I always respond to everyone. Just let me know what is your favorite item in the bathroom. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!